Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to run Java code in Atom Editor in 2020. So this is the important step. The first is we need to install ZDK. So open here Google in search box right to ZDK. Here you can get to oracle.com site. So you need to click this oracle.com. Now there you can see new page that open. So here Java SA15 that is ZDK15 is there. Click on this ZDK download. Now if you scroll down here you can get different uh, ZDK for different operating system. So I am using Windows 10 operating system. You can try with this tools. I am going to use this one installer. Click on this download button. Here I received. Click on download. Now after clicking this uh, download one here open ZDK 15 windows exe file 160 MB is the size click on this save button now you can see this is the file that uh, it uh, start downloading so here so this file that I already have so I'm going to make that pause and now going to do the installation of the ZDK 15 so here this is the ZDK 15 now double click on this exe file now here you can see this is the installation wizard that will open for ZDK 15 So it's a uh, start doing here. Click on this next, and uh, this is the location where ZDK 15 is going to install. Click on next, and now here this is the status Java TM SA Development Kit 15. So this is for 64 bit operating system for. So the status is the progress. Now it's uh, doing copying new files and registering product. So let's uh, open command prompt. So in search box write cmd. So cmd. Now if you write here java. Then you can get java is not recognized as an external or internal command. That means there is no any Java in my system. It's uh, doing the installation. Now let's uh, close that here. The installation of uh, ZDK 15 it's uh, done here. Click on this close. Again open CMD. And uh, this time going to write here Java. So here it's so uh, uh, start searching now this time you get this kind of masses so uh, that means so uh, when you download and install zdk 15 no need to set any path it's all come there now if i write here java c so it's also working no any problem with and if you want to check the version write java minus minus version so java 15 here java sc runtime environment this all these things you can get so zdk working uh, perfectly on the command prompt now hereafter let's open the atom editor so here the first step install zdk now open the atom editor so this is the atom editor now here the first uh, step on the item editor so if i go on the file tab here we need to add project folder so let's uh, create one folder on the desktop you can create anywhere so creating folder java project press enter now here after let's uh, go on the file tab here add project folder 
so this I'm going to on the desktop select this project sorry folder click on select folder now folder that added now right click on this here click on new file so here I'm giving the file name test and for Java we need to give the extension dot Java press enter so here so this place you can write any Java code so this is the code fast code copy this one now here after there is the two important thing we need to install these two packages a script so if I go on the file here setting so file setting now here if I go on the install so you need to write here a script package so a script write wait for 10 seconds so it's a uh, start searching of the script now here you can get to uh, this script run code in atom so this package you need to install so this package that all I already installed so so when you install if you go on the package tab here you can see this is the script okay this is script package that comes there now double click on this test.java for running this program go to package here a script and run a script so here I'm getting Java is not recognized external or internal command so what we need to do so here we need to uh, do one thing so let's uh, close exit and open once again now here again try so double click on this test and again go to package here the script run the script so this time you cannot get java not recognized external or internal command so here the sum of 1020 it's a 30 it's a display like that if you want to display hello world program so you need to remove this code now this place let's uh, write here hello world control s to save go to package run a script package so wait for 10 second or 5 second hello world it's a display now there is the one more thing if I write code like this so user input the value so this is the code to in user input the value control a control v control s now if I go on the script package run a script so run a script that I used so enter two number when I'm trying to enter two number it's not working there okay you should also try when you write this code and use a script to run a script package so it's not working here I cannot enter the values so for this we need to enter the values so for this we need to install another important package so we need to install this platform id terminal so here this package that require now let's open this go to file and uh, setting and install search platform id terminal so here you can see this package that require platform id terminal so you need to install this package after installing if i go on the package here you can see platform id terminal now let's back to java and if i use uh, platform id terminal click on this new terminal wait at least 
second time now here you can see microsoft corporation all right reserve try cross platform share so it's opening now you already know to compile the java code we need to use java c the file name is test dot java press enter so there is no any problem with the file here write java and to run java file name test so now we can enter the number let's give 7 next number 8 so 7 plus 8 the value is 15 display like that you can add any kind of uh, number by user input 8 12 that is 20 so this is the important package two important package that require first is a script next is platform so a script is not essential you can use uh, uh, this code so here I'm going to copy this and uh, paste there V control S now you can use here platform terminal new terminal and uh, after this you can use Java C to compile there's no any problem and uh, Java test here you can see this value it's a display so you can use anyone a script or platform or this two packages require so this is the way we can run Java inside item editor so I hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you